Sign properties can be edited either from the diagram preview menu or by selecting an evacuation sign icon on your floor plan. Starting at the top of the properties menu, the first option is sign type. Only auto generated signs can be produced in Plan Studio. If this is set to manual or externally provided, this indicates to Plan Studio that there are signs in this location, but they will not be generated in Plan Studio. Orientation indicates whether a sign must be of a certain orientation. This could be because of an existing frame already installed on site, or the sign will only fit in a certain direction. This setting is informative only and does not affect any templates or other settings. The sign ref is the unique sign reference or name for each sign, and appears at the bottom left hand corner of the default sign template. These can be used to identify your signs and must be unique for each sign on each floor. By default, this will read AG for automatically generated, YAH1. The AG could be changed to your initials or the level in the building. Before you can view a sign, you must first have selected a template. All the available templates for your current job should be available in this list. Legend Icons offers you the option to restrict the icons displaying in the legend to only the icons that are on the visible portion of your floor plan. This is useful for larger jobs that may contain additional icons that are being cropped off the page. Icon Filters allows you to select from the pre-made icon filters in your library if you need to change the filter to one other than the default from your template. Alarm Zone Style contains options for creating zone block plans. In the drop down menu, you can choose to leave it set to Defer to Template, which will use any settings you have set up from your template. Leader Lines, which will show the zone icon with a line connecting it to the zone. And Zone Legend, which shows a color coordinated legend, which you can move about on your diagram. If your floor plan contains identified zones, then here you will see an option for enabling a legend for each category of zone available. Turning this on will enable a legend in the bottom left hand corner of your plan. The secondaries drop down menu contains a few options for showing alternate evacuation routes on your plans. By default, this is set to hide all. You can change this to hide nearby to only show exits at different ends of the building, ignoring doors that might be right next to each other, or to show all, which will show every exit or every evacuation path available on the plan. When using secondary evacuation paths, you can jump back into your plan editor and select an evacuation sign icon, then use the evacuation path mode to manually configure which evacuation path each sign should be using. Site plan path style lets you configure the appearance of your evacuation lines on your site plan. If you leave this set to primary, all evacuation paths will show as a solid green line. You can also set this to primary and secondary, which will cause all navigation paths you've drawn as a secondary line to show up dashed, or show all as secondaries to make all the lines you've drawn show as a dashed line. The security option lets you hide areas on your plan if you've added a private zone. Setting this to show public areas only will hide that region of the plan, removing any doors or icons that sit within the private zone. The final option is the final exit mode, which has the same options available in the final exit tool, which will be covered later on in the tutorials.